Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be in my Everyday Essentials Happy Planner and I'm going to be creating a very fun, warm toned summer spread. And I'm going to be using a lot of bright colors, some fun florals. I can't wait to show you guys how it turned out. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm doing here is covering up the popsicles and I was trying to find out of my stash of my extra planner pages from old planners that I didn't use the whole planner. A lot of them were 18 month planners. I will have a lot of extra pages from the Everyday Essentials Planner. I have been using it for a year, but I still have until the end of this year, but I wanted to switch over the squad goals. Long story short, always keep those extra planner pages. You will find that you will have a use for these one, you know, it may not be this year, but next year you're going to wish that you would have had those still. So I definitely recommend keeping them in an extra drawer or if you don't have a whole lot of space, put them on extra discs and make a little planner out of your extra planner pages. They're really fun for covering up stuff just like I did. The floral stickers I'll be using at the bottom of the page are from the Today is the Day sticker book. It is the sticker book I just showed you guys. I used to call it 1234 before I knew it actually has a name. Um, but they still sell these in stores, so I will have a link to that also down below so you guys can pick it up if you haven't already. I love this sticker book so much, and these are some of my favorite floral stickers. And I like the fact that the bigger ones, because they have all different sizes, but I like how the bigger ones, I can just cut those in half just like this one and I can get two for one on there and it just looks so cute Next, I'm gonna be grabbing out a long sticker here from the Yellow Student Sticker Book. This is one of the new ones from the Back to School release this year. And you can use this to cover up an entire day, but I'm gonna actually use it on my sidebar because I've been really liking that lately and kind of just customizing my sidebar for how it will work for me for that week. So that is exactly what I'm doing. And I'm using some correction tape just to kind of cover up the orange from the priorities and notes sections so they don't pop through on the sticker. And I will have to cut it down just a little bit to fit so it doesn't cover up the flowers. But you guys would have seen that in my last video, my plan with me for last week. I had to do the exact same thing. So you just cut off a little bit of the bottom so it will fit. And that is how it turned out. I really love it. And I'm going to take this banner here and use some correction tape just to take out that pink line. Since it is a yellow sticker, the pink was kind of showing through the first time I laid it down. So I wanted to make sure that it was not going to show through this yellow sticker. And I love that. It just says, good things take time. I'm loving all these new sizes of the boxes. So I took out this one from the student yellow sticker book and it's just got that kind of same pinky coral color that I've got going on with this spread. So I wanted to bring that out. And then of course, you guys know the colorful box sticker book has to make an appearance. So I'm gonna grab out some of the warmer tones in this book. I have been loving these checklists lately from the colorful box to sticker book. I, at one point, I actually wasn't too crazy about them, but lately I have been loving them. They're so thin and long and they don't take up too much room. And a good little reminder from me to you, because I do this all the time, I always forget that it's okay to highlight different events or date nights or fun things in your planner on your checklist. You don't have to do all of your long to-do lists and, and stress yourself out. Just have fun with the checklist. Make it what you want it to be. So to remind myself that, I decided to put this banner from the Yellow Student Sticker Book in, and it just says Weekend Adventures. So now I'm gonna write in some fun stuff. I'm gonna write in whatever I want, and I don't have to check it off if I don't want to. It's your planner, do what makes you happy, and that's what I'm gonna do this week. I'm gonna write in some fun stuff that I do this weekend. Thank you. 
Now I'm just taking the smallest size in the colorful box of sticker book and I love using these to highlight different days that I need to edit or upload different videos. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add three of those to my page. This quote sticker was really hard for me to use because I wanted to hoard it so bad, but I did get another student yellow sticker book, so I'll have another one that I can hoard. But this one is so cute. It's like a neon bar sign, and it just says it's all good. The color just and everything, it just went perfectly with this spread. I'm not really sure what we're going to do on Friday, but I wanted to add a box here just to highlight our date night. We're thinking about either like a drive-in movie or miniature golfing or something just like really fun and something we don't do very often. And so I had to add this little heart eye emoji. I love that little emoji. It's a good excuse to use that. And I don't work this Saturday. This is the first Saturday that I have not worked since I got back from... Go Wild. Go Wild was the last time I had like that full weekend off. So I'm super excited. I'm going to finish a lot of DIYs and try my hardest to finish my craft room and get it all in order. So by the end of this month, hopefully I will have a craft room tour. I may do like multiple videos. So we'll see. Those sticky notes are from the Happy Memory Keeping Lines Dates and Holidays sticker book. It's the newest one that was released. The pink, it's got pink on it, the pink color. But I love that sticker book. If you don't have that, you definitely should get it, even if you don't memory plan. And then this Make It Happen sticker actually is from the Gold Star Quote sticker book. And I cut off there's stars on it, and I actually cut around it because I didn't want the stars because there was like a green one, and it wouldn't have gone with the spread. So I cut those off. And then this cute little sun is from the new seasonal sticker book from the back to school release. How cute is that? I'm adding two smaller checklists to Monday and Wednesday for YouTube and Instagram stuff. And I'm using these circle stickers from the seasonal sticker book. And then also I'm going to be using the Happy Planner checklist stencils. I get lots of questions on where I get those. And I have always bought mine in store at Hobby Lobby, but you can buy them online. So I will have a link to that down below. And anytime I say something is linked down below or in my description box, it is right below this video. It just says description and it's kind of close to the subscribe button and also my picture of me. And so make sure you go check that out because I also have a link to my Instagram and also all sorts of fun things and different videos. So make sure you go check it out. I'm also going to create a list of my products most mentioned or my products that I've used the most. So make sure you go check that out because you'll see like the pins that I use the most. Also my Canon selfies linked down there. So make sure you go check that out. And then right now I'm just adding in some washi. This is just the Happy Planner Skinny coral scalloped washi that they came out with and is still available at Joann's. I don't think it's anywhere else yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's just at Joann's online and I think the Happy Planner. So I'll try to find a link to that too. And then I'm just going to go in with some fun little headers here just for my boxes. This student icon sticker book, I talked about it last video. I love this sticker book so much, and I talked about how I was gonna do a cooler tone spread this week, but the popsicles kind of threw me off a little bit and I didn't even think about covering them up. So I will be doing that spread next week. I've already filmed it, and I can't wait for you guys to see it.
one more colorful box and floral sticker to end this spread. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I certainly do get some summer feels from this and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me plan my week out. I really loved using all of these stickers. Yes, it's a lot and I'm trying to be more simple, but you guys, I couldn't help myself with the new sticker books. They're just all so pretty. I needed to use every single one of them. And then I did use two of the happy memory keeping sticker books. This one I just used for the popsicle on Sunday and then this one I use for the sticky notes. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and let me know in the comments below if this gave you those summer feels and if you guys are going to try to incorporate this into your planner with some bright warm colors. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye!